This video is sponsored by B&H Photo and Video, where you can use your PayBoo payment card on qualifying purchases and enjoy instant savings on sales tax. Who doesn't want to save money? When you're buying some of the more expensive camera gear like the Nikon Z9, not having to pay sales tax is quite an advantage. Speaking of the Nikon Z9, how does the autofocus on this camera work in terms of really fast moving birds like ospreys diving into the water at 50 miles an hour? Well, what happens when you take the Nikon Z9, pair it with the 500 PF, go to a place where the sky is full of hungry osprey and really cranky pelicans? Well, you're about to find out the answer to both of those questions. So come on, let's go. As the sun rises over the cool winter waters of the Atlantic Ocean, its brilliant light filters through a discarded feather while a single wave awash with darting reflections of the sun slowly rolls into shore the start of a new day. Out past the shore break, a black skimmer weaves its way in and out of the waves while delicately skimming the surface for a meal. Closer to shore in the frothy foam-covered whitecaps, another black skimmer gives us a close look at its unique technique for acquiring a meal. It lowers the bottom portion of its streamlined beak into the water and slices through the surface like a hot knife through butter. And the moment its beak makes contact with a fish, it snaps shut and tosses the fish down its throat. But it isn't always successful. One of our wintering ospreys comes out to see if there are any fish ripe for the picking while a camera-shy cormorant vanishes below the surface. Who will be the first to catch a fish? A wise old great blue heron is betting on this human. But an osprey has made the plunge, and from the looks of things, this osprey has latched on to something huge. It's almost completely underwater. And as it emerges from the water, we get our first look at its impressive catch. But this finicky fish isn't going down without a fight, and it drags the osprey back down to the surface of the water. But this osprey is a skilled hunter with unbridled determination, and with one big beat of its impressive wingspan, it somehow manages to lift its massive catch from the waters below. In its talons, a huge bluefish. This fish easily weighs as much as the bird, possibly even more. And as the osprey comes closer, its open mouth is a good indication that this bird is struggling to lift its catch into the air. It is panting. While that osprey was busy struggling with its huge catch, another osprey with a smaller cargo comes in close and shows off its impressive talons. Look at those meat hooks, amazing. A split second later, and those talons snap shut around the poor fish's head, sealing its fate and securing it for the flight back to this bird's perch. Another osprey comes out of the water with yet another massive-sized fish. This fish is in Atlantic Manhattan. And with just one set of talons in the fish's back, it swings back and forth like a clock pendulum. And with each swing, this fish's time is running out. Back on shore and an old wise pelican earnestly watches the diving osprey. While an egret in spectacular breeding plumage seems rather intent on staring at its own backside. Hey buddy, uh, you're being videoed here. This is gonna be on YouTube, so you might wanna stop doing that. Back down on the water and an osprey momentarily struggles to pull out a huge Atlantic manhaden. But once it clears the water, the struggle is over. Right behind that one is yet another osprey and it too pulls a nice fish from the water below. Even though this bird's cargo is relatively small, it picked up a lot of water on the dive. It has to get rid of that water weight and no better way to do that than to shake it all off. 
But the osprey aren't the only ones catching fish this morning. This cormorant has captured a big fat goby, and this bird knows not to advertise a fresh catch for long, so it swallows it down quickly. A little further out, and another cormorant proudly displays its catch and quickly finds out why that's a mistake as an osprey comes swooping in to steal it. The cormorant drops the fish and the look on its face says it all. The competition is starting to heat up now. A little further out in the water and two osprey crash into the surface. One quickly exits while the other struggles. And for an instant, the bird vanishes behind a big wave. Not wanting to leave its fishy home, its cargo continues to swim down. This bird has done this before and it knows it only needs a little push and that is exactly what this small wave provides. Once free from the surface tension of the water, the wind rockets past the underside of the osprey's wings, giving it an incredible amount of lift and it propels it higher into the sky. Things are starting to get a little crazy now as this osprey comes out of the water with two fish, one in each set of talons. That is one frugal osprey. We have seen one fish, two fish, no red fish, but a blue fish. So close to completing the Dr. Seuss rhyme. And right behind that, yet another osprey with a fish. The feeding frenzy is in full effect and it isn't going on unnoticed. Another older, much wiser pelican is watching silently from the rocks. This bird's intense glare reminds me of pictures I have seen of shoebill storks. Tension is starting to build and things are about to get very interesting. And as one osprey comes flying in with a catfish precariously dangling from its one set of talons, a different pelican comes in for a closer look. Meanwhile, our old wise pelican has moved out into the water. This bird's casual floating behavior is all part of its plan. A little closer in, and another osprey comes flying right at us. The feeding frenzy is in full swing now. As this osprey rises out of the water like a phoenix from the ashes, its left set of talons are wrapped tightly around the fish's tail. But as it moves forward, it loses its grip and almost seems to cradle the fish with both sets of talons. At this point, I'm not even sure how this bird is holding onto the fish. Ah, then it becomes clear. One single talon has managed to keep hold. This bird has to secure the fish with its other set of talons, and it is prepared to do just that. And thanks to the magic that is photography, we get to pause time and take it all in while gaining a better understanding of the struggle and the balance of life these birds and fish face on a constant basis. Speaking of freezing time, this bird has entered a high-speed free fall, and as it gets closer to the surface of the water, it thrusts its talons straight out in front of it and I'm lucky enough to capture the exact instant it makes contact with the water. Wow. Its eyes now protected by an additional semi-translucent eyelid called the nictitating membrane. Back out on the water and a pelican makes its move, but this osprey doesn't even have a fish. The osprey are now hitting the water at an unbelievable pace. With talons at the ready, one comes in from the left. Right after that, one comes crashing in from the right. And a third osprey lines up its target and comes splashing into the water below. But this osprey's dive has drawn the wrong type of attention. Our pelican is literally right on the osprey's tail, but neither bird comes away with a catch. All of this action has caught the attention of a few other birds who safely watch from the sidelines back down on the water line, and one of our diving ospreys is struggling. In its talons, another huge Atlantic manhaden. And with all the pelicans focused on other osprey, this bird makes a clean getaway. A little closer in, and we get a good up close and personal look at this amazing bird and its impressive catch. And this one seems to have an expression that says, are you seeing this? higher in the sky, and this bird has managed to slip by with a good-sized catfish. The feeding frenzy is in full swing now. As yet another osprey comes in close, 
with a small jack clutched tightly in its talons. But nothing would prepare me for what happened next. An osprey smashes into the water and struggles at the surface. A few meters away sits our patient pelican, and this bird's patience has just run out. Mouth agape and talons at the ready, the osprey just narrowly escapes the incoming pelican's attack. But this pelican is desperate for a meal, and it looks like the osprey might be on this bird's menu. This fight for food has now become a fight for survival as the osprey smacks the pelican upside the head and makes its escape. But just like the tide continues to flow, both of these birds have to eat. Our osprey takes everything in from a high perch, intently aware of everything below, including the pelican. And our pelican patiently waits for the osprey to make its move. And it doesn't have to wait long because the osprey has found its target fish. And as the osprey exits the water, I ready my camera for the action. And this time, the osprey comes flying right at me with a huge Atlantic manhaden. A well-deserved meal for our hard-working feathered friend, and it looks like the pelican has missed its chance. Or has it? The osprey's sudden shift to the left can only mean one thing. That pesky pelican is in hot pursuit. And as the pelican gets closer, the osprey shifts more to the left causing its catch to swing wildly out to the side. That fish is now in clear sight of the pelican, and that is plainly visible from the look in the pelican's eyes. Ooh, but the osprey is faster, more agile, and fueled by an unbridled determination. As the osprey puts more space between itself and its pursuer, it banks, giving us this impressive shot of its fishy cargo, and the fish, well, it seems to be peering right into the camera. Wow. Never a dull moment when the sky is full of birds. That was an absolutely amazing experience. Um, if you like this video, share it. That's a huge help for me. Um, share it with everybody. Everybody. I mean, everybody you know. Put it everywhere. You can even write it down and put it somewhere like, well, that probably wouldn't work. On social media, share it. That's very helpful for me. Um, so the big question is, how does the Nikon Z9 autofocus perform? That video was a very good example of how it performs in good situations or in, in, in good light with uh, somewhat easy targets. There are, or there were some times when the autofocus on this camera combo did not perform as expected, where they, there were mistakes. I don't know, can't really figure out what was happening. I don't know if it was the camera or if it was the lens or it was a combination of the two or it was even me, but I'll have a, a video after this or a little bit later on um, highlighting those images that were where the camera lost focus and maybe trying to figure out what happened. Um, if you had a favorite part in this video, um, let me know in the comments below. I know I did. That was when the pelican tried to eat the osprey. I've never actually seen that before. And I had some friends from South Florida who were there on that same day who actually got still images of that uh, interaction. They shared those images on social media. And because they're so wild and crazy unbelievable, people told them that they were photoshopped. Well, there's video proof that was not photoshopped. If you would like to learn how to take images or video like you just saw, I offer photography workshops. Um, you can find a link to that in the description below. It's probably been plastered all over the screen here. Um, if you have any questions about the Z9, I know a lot of people have been asking. I've been compiling them. I'm gonna make a separate video somewhere a little bit later where I try to answer those to the best of my knowledge. Leave those in the comments below too. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you've still made it this far, double thanks to you. If you haven't made it this far, then you can't hear me because you left, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everything that uh, everybody does, all the followers, all the support. It's extremely helpful. Um, uh, subscribe if you haven't done that. I didn't ask anybody to do that, although it says it right here. If you can read this, subscribe. That's been there subliminally. So hopefully it actually worked and you subscribed already. Um, and uh, thumbs up, like, share, comment, all that stuff. Until next time, I'll see you later.